My name is Michael Lewis and I'm the Archbishop Primate of the province of Jerusalem and the Middle East, which is an absolutely huge area. Uh, it stretches from Cyprus at the eastern end of the Mediterranean right through to Iran. And in the north we've got Iraq and in the south we've got the very bottom of the Arabian Peninsula. And as Anglicans, Episcopalians, we cover it in three dioceses. There's the Diocese of Cyprus on the Gulf, which I'm immediately Bishop of. There's the Diocese of Iran, which is a single country diocese. And then there's Jerusalem Diocese, which covers all the countries of what used to be called the Near East. And I can tell you that over the years, the Good Friday offering has been an absolutely key and hugely appreciated component of our life in this uh, tumultuous region. Let me give you one or two examples. In the Diocese of Jerusalem, speaking to my colleague Hossam Naum, I'm told that over the years GFO has been responsible for upping and, and increasing the educational opportunities of so many young people, children and young people, in the diocesan school but also in other educational establishments. That makes a real difference. In my own diocese, um, of Cyprus and the Gulf, I think I'd go right down to the far south, to the city of Aden in the Yemen. Our church there was built in 1863. It looks like a typical British Victorian building. In the grounds, we have a clinic which has got the reputation now of being the best eye clinic in the whole of the country of the Yemen. We fund it from various sources, including giving within the diocese, very generous stewardship giving. But we absolutely could not be doing what we do with the poor and the struggling people of the Yemen and their eye health without the generosity of givers, of Episcopalians and other people of goodwill to the Good Friday offering in the United States of America. So to the Episcopal Church and to all givers, to GFO, profound thanks from the Diocese of Cyprus and the Gulf and the province of Jerusalem and the Middle East.